Well, hello, my name is Shu Rayner. I'm a children's author and an illustrator. But what I always really wanted to be when I was a boy was to be an astronaut and go to the moon. But mm, I don't think that's ever going to happen now. So um, I thought I'd tell you a bit about what I remember about the moon landings because it kind of gets a bit confusing. I found, um, you know, schools uh, are teaching it now. Not everybody quite understands what goes on. For one thing, I've done this. You'd be able to draw, download this from my website, www dot shoe dash tube dot com and you can cut it all out and you can make your own Saturn V rocket and with this I can explain how the whole system works. So you had this enormous great rocket it had five enormous F1 engines down at the bottom and they were in 10, 9, 8, ignition sequence start, 5, 4, 3, we have ignition, we have blast off and off it went up into the sky. Now you see this part here, which is just the, the, the bottom part, this is the stage one, and that's where all the, all the mighty fuel and everything was, and it, firing these enormous engines, which shooting it up into the sky. But of course, when that, that's run out, you don't want to keep it. So you go, and you get rid of that, and then we're left with the stage two rocket with, with an engine, you can't, you can't see the engine anyway, and you got, you got, you can't have everything. Anyway, there was engines coming out here, and that takes it up higher and higher and higher until this bit runs out of fuel and then and then we're left with the stage three and that's that's got an engine as well and, and then this takes the whole thing up out into orbit and, uh, and and they go round and round the earth while they get themselves sorted out and decide what they're going to do now on the way just after uh, just after launch there's this little bit on the top here which is the escape tower and if anything had gone wrong at launch this would have gone boom, and it would have taken this little triangular bit at the top which is where the spacemen are it would have taken them off to safety uh, but we don't need that anymore but i'll just keep that little bit at the top because i might need that um and then oh i don't even know yeah there we go and <laughs> so so then what happens uh, they're floating around in space woo, in orbit and then oh i need to unstick this gently right because it's all been glued on the back this is very string and ceiling wax isn't it but it's fun so anyway this little bit comes off and this is the command and the service module okay and then the bits here on the the uh, stage three booster they fold back revealing the lunar landing module lunar excursion module should i say now if i get a bit of glue and i stick that on the end there like that then i can stick then this bit comes along and connects up and then it goes off from there this bit that's don't need that anymore that just kind of floats around and probably burns up in the atmosphere and then this tiny little bit goes off to the moon translunar injection and um and so you've got three astronauts in here and then when it gets to the moon okay here's the moon it's, it goes into orbit around the moon and it goes round and round and round and round while they get themselves sorted out and then two of the astronauts climb into the lunar landing ex lunar excursion module and then they come apart and this one carries on going round and round and round and round and round and round around the moon like that. And then the lunar landing module where the legs actually come out, but I can't do that because it's just a drawing. This goes round the moon and then it comes and lands on the moon. And then the 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 lunar nauts astronaut no, they're, they're they're still astronauts anyway. They they get out and walk around, do whatever they need. And then this little bit. The bottom half is called the lunar landing module. The top bit is the lunar escape module because this tears in half, <laughs> right? This tears in half. That bit stays on the moon and this bit goes up into orbit where it meets up with, oh, I'm losing all my bits. It meets up again with the lunar landing module, with the command and service module. And then the two astronauts in the lunar escape module get out and join the commander inside the service, no, the command module, okay? And then phew, you just dump that. I think it goes crashing off into the moon or something. And then I don't need that little bit anymore. I just need that for gluing. And then this turns around and goes back to Earth. And it's got a, oh, about three days or something like that it takes to get back to Earth. And when it gets back to Earth, then 
the service module at the back which has had all the fuel and the water and everything like that that's not needed anymore so pshht. so we need to uh, 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 tear that bit off and this is all that comes back to earth this tiny little triangle which is the command module and then it goes and, and as it comes through the earth's atmosphere it almost burns to bits and then and then out come the the, the parachutes and lands in the sea and the US Navy come along in a great big uh, aircraft carrier and come and fish them out of the water and they get the astronauts out and everybody goes way and they stick them in a car and they send them down um, Wall Street or something like that everybody um, yeah. anyway the rest is history so that is how it works <laughs> you can download one of these from www.shoe-tube.com and uh, make 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 your own historic journey to the moon and uh, have fun so there you are journey to the moon <laughs>